Hey everyone, Nick Dearbird is here teaching you financial modeling. Today, we're going to be doing an introduction on randomness in Python. This is part of our lecture series on probabilistic modeling. So last time we had already covered the intro to internal randomness, and then we looked at how to implement that in Excel as well. And now we're coming to the Python side of the implementation. So in Python, we have a built-in module. So this module uh, package is uh, built into every Python installation. You do have to import it, but it's there with every Python, and it's the random module. And the random module gives us pretty much everything that we would want for generating random numbers. Um, we'll also look at NumPy has its own random uh, module, which um, is able to do all the same things, but produce entire arrays of random numbers rather than uh, just one random number at a time. But primarily, we're going to be looking at using the random module. So we have functions in that module, which work just like the ones we've already covered in Excel. Um, so we have um, random.random. .random, um, is just like the rand function random.uniform uh, allows you to um, get a random number in any range um, and there's also a rand int which allows you to pick just integers in that particular range and then uh, where it starts to get a lot nicer than working in excel is uh, for the normal distribution and for quite a few other distributions as well we have functions which directly generate random numbers from those distributions. So random.normal variate, we just give it the mean and the standard deviation, and it draws a random number from a normal distribution with those parameters. Nice and simple and straightforward. And you'll find this kind of syntax typically for every um, type of randomness that you would want to do in Python. So let's look at a quick example of how we can generate continuous random numbers in Python. And this uh, Jupyter Notebook is on the course site as well. So um, we're starting here with generating a single continuous random number um, and using the random module. So we can specify a mean, specify a standard deviation, and with that, we can generate random, num random numbers from a normal distribution right away. Um, we can also uh, do the, uh, the random function, uh, which just gets us, you know, just like rand in Excel, um, we can do that random.uniform uh, to give us random numbers in some range. Um, and we have random.randint, which is able to get us random integers in some range. So that's analogous to the random between function in Excel. Um, so we have those and we have plenty of other functions here available in the random module. Uh, you know, gamma variate, we, gamma distribution, log normal distribution, uh, Pareto distribution, whatever, uh, you know, the common distributions that you would expect to see are all here. Um, and so it's really nice to have all of that just there out of the box. And then if we want to generate multiple of these random numbers, uh, either we could do, uh, with just the random module and we can go with a list comprehension. Um, so I can just, uh, uh, whoops, other way around, it would be random, uh, dot normal variant on this side i and range however many you want to generate and they're going to be able to generate that many uh random numbers so still possible in one line with the random module um but you can also do it with numpy directly um so with uh numpy dot random dot normal we can draw a number from a normal distribution and then if you add a third parameter of how many numbers that you want then it's going to give you an array uh, with that many random numbers. And we can still loop 
through that um, just like a list. You can index it just like a list, and you can even convert it to a list by wrapping it in list. Um, so then the, the one-liner you can copy-paste to get a list of random numbers um, would be here, numpy random normal, however many random numbers that you want, and wrapping that in list to convert it to a list. So that's really all it takes for doing randomness in Python. It's very straightforward. This is definitely one of the areas where it shines over Excel. Um, so that's a quick overview of that. We'll come back next time to look at discrete random numbers and generating that them in both Excel and Python. So thanks for listening and see you next time.